What is up, FIFA friends, football galaxy here. Great day for some FIFA because today we get another episode of the MLS FOMO series. And uh, this time, instead of doing two head to head matches, it's actually going to be two versus attack matches. So we're going to go back to the to the old times when we used to play versus attack matches back in FIFA Mobile 18 during season one of the MLS FOMO series. So for today, we're going to do that and we're also going to do a competition. Between Zach Steffen and Brad Guzan, of which is the best MLS goalkeeper in, well, in Major League Soccer. We're going to start off first with, with Zach Steffen. Now, I know that in versus attack, you don't exactly see the point of the field where the goalkeeper is. So here's how it's going to work. The goalkeeper that lets the least amount of goals into the net wins. In other words... If the team doesn't score, like, like the goalkeeper, is this is actually coming a little bit harder, hard to explain than I thought. Pretty much, the goalkeeper that that, let, that lets the least amount of goals in proves to be the better goalkeeper. I'm pretty sure that was the exact same explanation I just said a few seconds ago. All right, let's begin this match. Hopefully we can win it, and hopefully everything can go well. All right, here we go. Match officially on our way. We're behind two things, so obviously that means that Brett Guzan is not doing so much of a good job. And the gameplay is, as you can see, absolutely terrible so far. The game just froze. And who knows how many goals have just scored in during this freezing point. Oh, brother. Hopefully we can score the first goal. Wayne Rooney with a shot into the back of the net. There we go. Now, yes, we are losing 4-1. It sucks. But you know what? That's the beauty of Buff versus inside that this thing ends pretty darn soon. Miguel Almeno with a nice shot towards goal. That was a shot of a heck of a shot right there. Graham Zuzzi going to go for Wayne Rooney. Passing it to Jose Martinez who's wide open. Martinez with a shot towards goal. Then the goalkeeper catches it. Now yes we didn't play that. We didn't play as much. Which sucks. We lost 5-2. The other team had a higher over rating than we do. And it seems that Zach Steffen let in five goals. So in order for Brad Guzan to win, he has to let less than five goals in order to win the competition, this little miniature competition that we're going on. So bring in, let's bring in Brad Guzan into the squad and see how we'll go. Here we go now. He was in the... He was in the uh, team of the week. Uh, team of the week of MLS players. He was an over 79, but I did bring him up to over 80. So that way the chemistry could be up to 120. With Brad Guzan in the squad. Did I just? Never mind. With Brad Guzan in the squad. Um, pretty much. I have six total Atlanta United players in the team itself, so it's kind of a lot of players from Atlanta United. I just realized something. I just did a head to head. Oh my gosh. Alright, that's so what we're playing head to head and as you can see there, that was a that was my bad. I pressed the pass button instead of trying to press the other button. So we're losing one zero in this head to head match. That was this is a clear mistake. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh, this guy is freaking Marco Royce over ninety. Jeez. Yeah, we lost this match pretty much. I'm so used to f losing in like in FIFA Mobile that I don't even bother like getting angry over it. I'm just used to it. The whole game is just bullcrap. Alessandro, any you idiot! Oh dang it! 
And that was horrible. And that was a poor headshot towards the goal. Absolutely poor. Ooh, that was a good interception by Jose Martinez, and yet the ball goes out anyway. Ball back to the MLS 11. Of course, Almiron can even get Adams. I'm bad. I said Almiron. Of course, Adams couldn't get that freaking ball. And Marco Royce is just completely taking it on these guys. This game obviously sucks. The gameplay, I'm surprised the game hasn't froze yet. But other than that, this is just a horrible game. Worst part is we still haven't scored a single goal. And also the worst part is that technically we shouldn't be having a head-to-head -head match. Technically, we should be having a versus attack match. But apparently I pressed the stupid button by accident. And we're also losing connection, so that kind of sucks as well. Dang, Rooney could have freaking gone for that ball. Alright, end of the first half. The reconnecting thing is still there. I don't know why. Oh, it's gone. We still haven't even scored a single goal. And this guy has Neymar Jr., of course. Oh, 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 dang it. Neither Brad Guzan nor Zach Steffi can do some saves, so... I guess neither of them are turning out to be the best, the better goalkeeper. Whoa. So right now, Zach Steff, uh, Brad Guzan, I guess technically according to the competition rules... Brad Guzan is winning because he's only let three goals in, not five. But still, you never know. Oh, shoot. Oh, what a save by Brad Guzan. And Guzan is technically, you guys, winning this competition. That was a great save, you have to admit, though, folks. I never thought I would lose both games in an MLS for Mobile Series. Ooh, dang it. Take the ball back, anyone? Nope. Why wouldn't you take the ball back? And ball for... Oh, dang it, could have been... And this guy has the ball. Holy shoot. Yeah, it looks like Brad Guzan is about to tie with Zach Steffen. Oh, shoot. And Zach Steffen. And Brad Guzan has tied with Zach Steffen. Five goals into the net. This has totally changed. Like, wow. And for one thing, the gameplay sucks, so that does not help at all. Second. Items, you couldn't get the ball, man. And second, it kind of sucks how I am losing second match. And there we go, you just lost. And Zach Steffen and Brad Guzan are pretty much in tie because both of them just let five goals into the net and yet we still had an, a higher overrated guy and that explains so much i guess huh 
How in the world did I freaking go to head to head? Oh my gosh. Let's go back to versus attack. You know what? Let's just forget that match that we just played. That match was just absolutely a humiliation besides the score itself. So forget that match. We're going to go back to versus attack and fix it with Brad Guzan as the goalkeeper. So this, in other words, this match will be the, in the competition. The other one that we just put in head-to-head. -head, that was just a horrible match. Okay, we have a better chance in this one, hopefully. 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 All right, here we go. Let's do this. Yes, the gameplay is a little bit laggy, but at least it's not freezing. Hopefully. I hope I just didn't jinx it either. What the? And it just froze. Nice. Great. Here comes Barco. Adams. Nice play by Adams. And a shot. Oh, yeah. There we go. Tyler Adams. That was his first goal, I believe. Wayne Rooney. Rooney. Oh, yeah. Wayne Rooney. My man. All right. Two goals. Brad Guzan. Joseph. Oh. <laughs> what a goal by Joseph Martinez. That was brilliant. Now I'm having fun. Rooney with a shot into the back of the net. There we go. 4-2. Tyler Adams, Wayne Rooney's wide open. Rooney with the goal wide open into the back of the net. Here comes Tyler Adams again. Rooney going to go for Ezekiel Barco with a shot just wide. And the game just froze. Oh, here we go. Back, back online. Now, the game should be ending any second now. That's three goals that got in to the back of the net against Brett Guzan. So, just a reminder, this match is in the competition. The head-to-head -head match, that was just a mistake. That wasn't supposed to be in the competition. So, Brad Guzan seems to be the winner, I guess, for letting only three goals in. But then again, it just depends because, you know, the computer picks different teams. So, obviously, the different teams have higher ratings. So, I don't know. Technically speaking, like I said in the card. Well, let's see. Hang on. So, the previous one, Zach Steffen let five goals in. This one, Brad Guzan only let three goals in. And, but in the other one with Zach Steffen, that team was over 89. What we just won was against an over 80 player, so... I don't know. Technically speaking, Brad Guzan is a better player than Zach Steffen when it comes to stats. Especially in this card, because this card is Team of the Week. Zach Steffen is just the base card. But as you can see here... As you can see here, Brad Guzan overpowers Zach Steffen in multiple ways. So, just post in the comments. See which uh, player is the better goalkeeper. But, I mean, obviously, I guess it would be Brad Guzan. But, you know, there could be a different card for Zach Steffen maybe later on in the game. We never know. But this pretty much sums it up. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for more videos in the Football Galaxy channel. And by the way, announcement. I don't think I. Yeah, I don't think I said this. I'm officially moving the MLS for Mobile Series from Wednesdays to Mondays. Reason why is because on Wednesdays I'll be I'll be doing the Good Galaxy Night podcast show, a new series coming into the Football Galaxy channel. Episode one is already is already in the channel, so you can watch episode one. And uh, the next episode will be coming up next Wednesday. So the series will be officially every Wednesday. making, And that's why I'm going to put the MLS for Mobile series every Monday now from now on. So that's the new schedule change for the heads up. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow for my Top 11 2019 video. Uh, for those who have forgotten, Top 11 2019 will be coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for my review video on that. Until then, again, 
Thank you guys for watching, and have yourselves a great Galaxy Night.